your flyer is ahead on our right. Standing at 165 meters, it offers a panoramic view of the city. A ride on the flyer takes 30 minutes. On a clear day, you can see several Indonesian islands, as well as Malaysia. The flyer is one of the most popular viewing platforms in Singapore. If you want to catch a ride on the flyer, you may approach our ground crew for discounted tickets and a complimentary bus transfer to the Singapore flyer. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on our right side, this is the Singapore Flyer. The flyer opened in the year 2008, and are you aware that this was the world's tallest observation wheel? However, only until 2014. You know why? Las Vegas built something taller. Singapore, 165 meters. Las Vegas, 167.6 meters. Just a difference of 2.6 and we are now second place. And they have been holding on to that title up to this very day. But guess what? Dubai has already built something much, much, much taller. You know how tall? Singapore, 165. Dubai, 250 meters tall. Okay, it's supposed to open last uh, October. However, with the current situation, it will be moved to October next year. Okay, so that is something that we should also, uh, we'll see how it is, because it's 250 meters tall. How many bridges do we have in front of us? One, two, or three? How many? Three. Very good. The first bridge, this is the Benjamin Shears Bridge. This was named after Singapore's second president, Dr. Benjamin Henry Shears. The second bridge is Bayfront Bridge. And the third bridge is the Phoenix Bridge. Come on. Left is the iconic Marina Bay Sand Integrated Resort, or MBS for short. Look up and that is a magnificent sky park, an engineering feat. The observation deck sits on a cantilever platform overhanging the North Tower by 67 meters. At 191 meters above the ground, the deck offers you a picturesque view of the city. It is open to the public and admission charges apply. The white building on our left is the Art Science Museum. Referred to as the welcoming hand of Singapore, the structure is anchored by the round base in the middle, with ten finger-like extensions. From there until here Although it has a resident there. exhibition, the Art Science Museum mostly hosts touring exhibitions curated by other museums. The structure is said to resemble a lotus flower. It is designed by the Israeli architect Moshe Safdie. Okay, if we take a look at the art science on our left, some of the kids would describe this as a flower. But some would also call this a bunch of bananas. <laughs> does it look like? Or does it also look like a crack? The multicolored seats on your right are part of the Marina Bay Floating Stadium. It is home to the world's largest floating stage. Made entirely of steel, the floating platform can bear the weight of 9,000 people and 200 tons of stage pops. This multi-purpose platform has been converted into a concert arena, a performance stage, and even used sparingly as a football pitch. With a seating capacity of 30,000, it is the prime venue for the annual New Year's Eve countdown concert. If you take a look around us, you will see a lot of very unique and interesting architecture, both old and new. The latest is on our left, the third Apple store. Yes, the floating orb. Ahead on our right, you will see a tall cylindrical building that is Swiss Hotel de Stanford. Designed by IMK, this 73-story establishment was once the tallest hotel in the world. It is home to the annual Vertical Marathon, where every year more than 2,000 participants partake in what is dubbed Asia's most grueling stair race. The record time, sub-7 minutes. Oh, 
we call the sustainable development features. Some of them would actually have 17. Have you visited the Marina Barrage on our right side? Yeah, it's perfect to go there and fly kites, I think. Yeah, there are some people flying kites there right now, small kites. You can also go exercise on that side. You can also see a lot of ships outside, okay? But the nice thing is, this is also our flood control system. It actually separates the salt water outside and the fresh water of the reservoir. If there's heavy rains in Singapore, what happens is they would release excess waters because the water level here will go up. If they allow to continue doing that, then parts of Jalan Bazar, Geylang, and even Chinatown may experience ponding. So they will open the gates if it's low tide only because you cannot allow salt water to come in. But if it's high tide, the Marina Barrage has seven giant pumps that would pump out the waters outside.
all the way to the Civic District area or what we It's like a big Toblerone chocolate bar standing. The third building, take a look at that blue building at the back with the brown corners. That's Republic Plaza. <laughs> Do I end in a theater? Don't know of your good.